So you want to know how to add a texture onto your object here in Blender 2.8 EV. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again. So many people recently have asked me this um, and uh, I figured I would do it. Happy Labor Day. Today here is September 2nd. Uh, Labor Day here in America. We're going to go ahead and uh, use default cube today because he's he's had enough time all right so we're gonna go ahead and hit new on this uh, material here and I'm just gonna call this uh, matte or whatever you want to call it now how we're gonna do this is we don't actually use the texture tab anymore for this it's weird uh, kind of so we're gonna go to base color here hit this little circle and then choose image texture right here um, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit open and then we're going to try and locate our files here, which is uh, right here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, open this image right here. And uh, now it hasn't done anything, but that's because we're in uh, solid viewport shading. Now, if we go to material mode, you still, there we go. There we go. Now we can see our image. <laughs> and if we go to render viewport shading, you can also still see our image. Now, of course, we didn't unwrap this or anything, uh, but that is how you get the image on there. So if you want to real quick, go ahead and unwrap this. Just uh, select the object, hit tab, and hit U on your keyboard, hit unwrap. Uh, or you can hit uh, U and uh, Smart UV Project, uh, and, and there you go, either way. So, then of course you can just drag your window into two, you know, open this up. This is extra stuff now. Just go to UV Editor, you know, open up that image there, huge image. And then uh, now you can see all of the different faces that we have here on our cube. If I grab one of these bad boys uh, and hit G to move them, you can see it will move there on the cube as well. So... That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get a texture on your uh, on your object there. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.